Massive flooding in the Swiss Alps. On June 21, 2024, heavy rains in the Swiss Alps caused massive flooding, severely affecting several areas, including the mountain resort of Zermatt in the canton of Valais. This region, known for its scenic beauty and the iconic Matterhorn, suffered significant infrastructure damage and complete isolation due to extreme weather conditions. Local authorities had to evacuate more than 230 people to protect them from the growing disaster. Rescue efforts were complicated as roads and bridges were submerged, making access to affected areas difficult. A total of 200 firefighters from 25 different units are on duty, working around the clock to ensure residents' safety and minimize damage. Transportation in Zermatt was severely impacted. Train services to the remote village were suspended, and road access was closed, completely isolating Zermatt. The Visper and Ron rivers, which run through the village, turned into torrents of muddy water. Gothard Barn, the train company, announced the suspension of service between Visp and Zermatt, and the R40, R41, and RE42 rail lines were cancelled due to the flooding. Replacement buses are operating between Visp and Tash, but there is no possibility of traveling to or from Zermatt. In addition to the flooding, heavy rains and snowmelt after a harsh winter caused landslides. The road between Tash and Zermatt became impassable, forcing the closure of the only access route to the village. Meteorologists warned that weather conditions could worsen in the coming days, posing additional challenges to rescue efforts. The Canton of Valais has declared a state of emergency. And Swiss authorities have deployed additional resources to combat the flood's aftermath. The federal government raised the danger level for the Rhone River from Visp to Lake Geneva to the second highest level. Residents are advised to stay in safe locations and follow emergency services instructions. Those living on the ground floor near the river were asked to move immediately to higher floors due to flood risks. The situation has significantly impacted tourism, a crucial component of Zermatt's economy. Tourists are stranded, and the delivery of essential supplies has been severely disrupted. The tourism industry is expected to face significant losses as the situation develops. Local authorities and emergency response teams are working tirelessly to address the flooding and landslides, and efforts are underway to reopen access routes and mitigate further damage. In a related incident, the region of Alpes de Haute province in France was also affected by severe flooding on the same day.
The Durance River, a tributary of the Rhone River, overflowed, sweeping away vehicles and causing significant damage in the region. Mateo France placed the Alpes de Haute Province Department under flood watch, indicating a high risk of further flood-related incidents. The flooding in the Swiss and French Alps underscores the importance of disaster preparedness and the need for international cooperation to combat climate change. The frequency and severity of extreme weather events are increasing, making it crucial for communities and authorities to be better prepared for such events. Rescue and recovery efforts continue, and the resilience of affected communities will be vital in overcoming the challenges posed by these natural disasters. Swiss and French authorities are closely monitoring water levels and weather forecasts to provide timely updates and instructions. Sandbags and other flood defenses are being deployed in vulnerable areas to protect homes and infrastructure. Residents and tourists are urged to stay in safe places and follow local officials' instructions. The recent extreme weather events in the Swiss and French Alps are a reminder of the need for robust infrastructure and disaster preparedness measures. As rescue and recovery efforts continue, the international community must collaborate to address the underlying causes of climate change and improve resilience to natural disasters. The situation in Zermatt and other affected areas remains critical, and sustained efforts will be needed to restore normalcy and support affected communities.